Um, sorry, Papa Swolio, any tips to help with keeping committed to a diet? Love you, Papa Swolio. Big motivation. Why, thank you, Ginger Boy. Any tips to help keeping committed to a diet? Um, that's the easiest thing in the fucking world for me. That's the easiest thing, honestly, that's been, that's been the, that's always been the focus from the start was making sure my nutrition was on point. I was eating what I needed to do, whether it was hitting a certain caloric intake when I was bulking hardcore, when I was trying to get big, 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 big. I was always prepping my meals. It was inexcusable and it was absolutely top priority to have my food ready whenever I needed it, when I needed it, the type of food I just prepped in advance. I did it. I made sure I had what I needed and I went above and beyond to make sure that was always the case. It was a top priority. And if it isn't for you, you're going to have, you're going to have some cracks and you're going to have uh, some of your gains slip through in the cracks or your weight loss or fat loss, whatever that is. Um, just, uh, just remember that you don't have to eat all the time. If you're hungry, that's usually a good fucking sign. And if you're hungry after just a couple hours, it's because your body isn't really fat adapted. You haven't really, um, you haven't unloaded those habits of just sucking down carbs all the time. And if you're riding that insulin roller coaster and that sugar high up and down crashing, you're just dependent on that short duration, limited quantity, you know, um, energy source that you have to consume regularly. You have to always be consuming sugar and carbs and carbs. But when you eat more fat, it lasts you a lot longer. You have twice, let's see, you have more than twice the amount of calories per gram of fat. Plus it is optimal for losing fat. Your body will metabolize fat on your body better. You get better at burning what you're consuming more regularly. So if you have more of a high fat diet, you're going to be more satiated. You're going to have less cravings. You're going to feel more full and it's better to stay committed, quote unquote, but I eat properly for my body. I feel my body properly. And I don't think about restriction because I'm not restricting myself. I am not orthorexic. I'm not obsessive. I just don't want to eat foods that don't serve me. That's it. I want to eat foods that do serve me and everything else is just not applicable in my life. N slash a, you ever see that? You ever see that when you're trying to, you know, you, you have like a form you have to fill out. And if it's not applicable to you, and not applicable, N slash A. Yeah, all those foods, McDonald's, not applicable. Burger King, not applicable. Candy, not applicable. Doesn't work, not real, not food. I wouldn't eat a chair, I wouldn't eat a baseball hat, and I won't eat that shit either. So just saying, doesn't mean I will never. I always have a choice just like you. And if you make shitty choices, you compound those bad habits and it shows in your health and in your physique and whatever else your goals are trying to achieve. It wears away your discipline and it weakens your character, in my opinion. It erodes. It's like the ocean eroding a cliff. It doesn't happen overnight, but slowly and slowly but surely, it just wears it away, wears it away. So I would take a close look at your quality, Ginger. If you're having trouble sticking to your nutrition, it could be who you're surrounding yourself with, what your goals, your perspective. More often than not, your perspective on your nutrition will help you stay more focused.